so until now we completed the complete configuration and all okay so now we are going into the remaining part the entries part we are going so first the entry we are going with the purchase requisition okay the transaction code will be me51n but before going into the purchase requisition first of all we need to create one material okay so now i will go to material mm01 transaction code i need to create one material okay so again i will relogin into my system okay so mm01 the transaction code material creation and here we need to give the material type the standard material type i will give here roh and the industry sector here i will give the chemistry industry and here already i created earlier one material so i will give that material reference it means i am copying most of the fields into this material then click on enter so i need to select the tabs on which tabs exactly i need and on which tab i need to maintain my data okay so now i am selecting as per my requirement while you are practicing also based on your practice you need to take your material master okay then click on continue this is my plant and everything is fine so now you can see my material number is 303 and this is the az10 raw material and here unit of measure is kg and if i go to the basic data 2 so here uh, i think there is no mandatory fields here so then go to purchasing so here we need to maintain our purchasing group and all so my purchasing group is az1 so this is fine okay and later we need to go to the accounting one tab okay so just click on enter so here uh, we can see in plant data storage this details is automatically picked by the system and then i will go to the accounting one tab so this is the very very important so actually based on this valuation class the fimm integration is happened so whatever we maintained valuation class in this material master and same valuation class we will be adding our gl account in obyc setting so then i will show you in obyc and where it comes to the bsx transaction key so my chart of accounts is az10 and now you can see here i am adding my valuation class is 3000 and my gl account is this one like 200105 so this is my inventory gl account so you can see yeah this one this is my inventory gl account okay so this is the exact point how the integration is happened between fi and mm integration okay same thing i will be mentioning my grir clearing account also in wrx transaction key so if i go to wrx transaction key you can see so 512 is the grir clearing account so now you can see grir clearing account is this one okay so here again i come i maintained my valuation class is my combination okay. so then go to system material creation so then go to casting one so here i am getting local currency converted into other currency accounting to so then casting one so here this is the very very important let's say for example for this material if you want to maintain your profit center so you we can maintain here okay so again this activity is and all taken care by the controlling consultant okay so i think i maintained all things so accounting one tab also i maintain the valuation criteria yeah 
in accounting tab so here you can see the sap s4 on a mandatorily we need to activate the material ledger okay so again the price determination we need to give the two and this one only we are mapping our price differential in omx1 transaction code omx1 so now you can see in this one my valuation class is az10 so now you can see we are connecting we are activating material ledger and the price determination is two this is the transaction based price uh, price calculation and here you can see my material ledger is 3000 okay so again same information we maintain in the material master this way how we are connecting controlling module to material management module also this is also very very important while we are working in real time then i will click on save so now you can see my material is created successfully with number 303 so same information i will be adding here then i am going into the next step purchase requisition so then i will go to the me51n okay so in this purchase requisition i will give my material as 303 what we created just now and here i will give my quantity as 15000 okay this is the quantity kg i will be mentioning here and the plant so here i need to maintain my plant is az10 and the storage location also i will be maintained as uh, what is our storage location so then i will check one more time my storage location so hyd3 okay so same thing i will be maintaining here so any other fields is important i think nothing is important then i will be selecting then i will be click on save so now you can see my purchase requisition is created successfully so same number i will be adding in my in this place so here my material is 303 and here my purchase requisition is 001 00094 clear so now i am created my purchase requisition also then i am going into the purchase order so the transaction code is me21n purchase order creation so here my purchase order so i will be maintained based on the purchase requisition but the point is here we need to maintain the supplier again there is a difference between ecc to sap s4 ana system in earlier ECC system, we maintained vendor directly here, supplier, supplier directly here, and we will go forward this purchase order and all. But in SAP S4 ANA, before we are going into this step, we need to create the business partner. Under the business partner, we need to create the supplier or vendor. Then only we are going into the, the next things, right? So regarding this one, the supplier creation or the uh, business partner creation so already i uploaded two videos in my youtube channel so first of all you need to go to this video why business partner mandatory in sap s4 ana the conceptual wise i explained the pin to pin point and even here in this video i explained the difference between ecc to sap s4 ana also so in earlier ecc system we created the purchase we created the vendor with the help of xk01 transaction code or fk01 transaction code but in sap s4 ana xk01 transaction code is completely obsolete so within that there is a new transaction code introduced that is bp the transaction code is simple bp business partner okay so regarding this one i explained very clearly in this video the concept wise and the configuration also if you want to maintain business partner in your company code or in your purchase organization so i maintained the complete configuration also in this system okay so if you want to learn the complete things regarding the fimm integration from end to end so then you can stop this video this point and now you can go to the business partner why business partner mandatory in sap s4 ana and later you need to learn the business partner configuration so this video i will explain with the help of financial accounting point of view but i will show you 
in purchase organization level also how we will maintain so now you can see in sap s4 ana system it is redirecting to the transaction bp and the transaction xk01 is absolute that point only i told you and this is the sap s4 ana 2022 version so right now i don't want to maintain any business partner yeah so i need to create the business partner so bp the transaction code and i need to select organization and again business partner we can maintain three areas three levels like business partner as a person business partner as a organization and business partner as a group so then i will be click on organization so copy company and az10 supplier fimm integration so az10 so here there is a some required fields is there so sorry so before that i need to change this bp role so here i will be selecting bp role as this one supplier flvn01 supplier level then click on create so now here grouping also we need to given so already we maintained grouping as az dd so regarding this grouping regarding this bp role if you want to know the complete picture so definitely you need to watch these two videos this one and the this one okay so now i am selecting my bp role and i will be given some details here so these are all details and here there is some mandatory details so i need to maintain those things and the language is also very very important okay then i will go to vendor general data so this is fine then i will go to the purchasing so here my purchase organization is az10 okay so this way we created the supplier under the business partner then again i will come back here general data so now you can see if i click yes the system automatically generates the business partner and as well as the vendor number also then i will try to click on save now you can see you can observe my business partner and as well as my vendor numbers displayed by the system so this is the way how we can create the business partner in sap s4 ana but before this one we need to maintain some prerequisite configuration i hope nearly 7 to 8 steps we need to maintain regarding that 7 to 8 steps only i explained here so these two videos you need to watch so then again come back so my vendor number i can maintain as so here my vendor number 5504 so this is the vendor which i created in the purchase organization level purchase organization level but while we are going with the invoice receipts or while we are going with the payment to vendor we need to maintain our vendor at company code level so in live projects also in real in real time projects also most of the clients will be maintained the vendors at purchase organization level and as well as the company code level also so there is a some confusion little bit these two but the point is even in the live projects also so under the same vendor we will be creating in purchase organization level at the same time we will be creating at company code level also okay so now i will going into the uh, the last step so this is the reason why i created the supplier just now so the, here i can give the 5504 and here the document date i will be going with the last month why because we opened the posting period is last month only then i will be click on here header i will be selecting my purchase organization az10 in organizational data tab so my company code is this one and my purchase group is this one so in this below tab so then i will come here and here i will be mentioned my purchase requisition number in this place okay the remaining details automatically the system is picked automatically that's the reason so here i maintain my purchase requisition number and click on save so sorry
తీసేసుకుందాం ఓకే సో నౌ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ ఇన్ టు ద మెటీరియల్ డేటా ఆర్ క్వాంటిటీస్ అండ్ వెయిన్స్ యూ కెన్ సి సో మై క్వాంటిటీ ఇస్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ థౌజండ్ ఐ థింక్ ఐ నీడ్ టు మెయింటైన్ ద ప్రైజ్ ఆల్సో యూనిట్ ప్రైస్ రైట్ సో హియర్ ఐ టుక్ ద ఫిఫ్టీన్ థౌజండ్ సో అదర్వైజ్ వీ కెన్ మెయింటైన్ ఇన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ పాయింట్ so then click on save so i am getting some errors po header data still faulty and uh, currency is i need to maintain and next price must be greater than 0 so i need to maintain those details so in header data so ding 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 in payment processing sorry i need to maintain currencies this one delivery invoice my currency i will be maintain as inr okay then try to click on save again there is some faulty is there so purchase order still contains faulty error that is resolved and next price must be greater than 0 so this point only i told like uh, we didn't given any price in the materials right so here i will be given one unit price as 10 rupees okay it means the total quantity is 15000 and 10 rupees 15000 into 10 so 150000 is the amount of value for this purchase order then click on save so now you can see my purchase 